Yo guys, welcome back. We have the XYZ Festival. Uh, we have a once in a while a festival where we don't have two festivals. I am very happy about this because this means you don't need like a second deck to be able to get all the gems, but you can just go ahead and have one deck beat the event once and don't have to play another event. You can let me know in the comments what you think of this. I'm not the biggest fan of these double events that we um, had a lot recently. Uh, I'm way more happy with having one event where then I can uh, or have to make a deck for um, uh, the good thing is that now that my account is a bit older I tend to have a good deck for every um, event but I do remember in the past where for a lot of events I didn't have a good deck and then had to play one of the loner decks or had to play the let's play the spider links xyz spider kill deck and really grind these events which wasn't fun at all but i also just wanted to get the resources by the way if you like my videos please consider subscribing hitting the thumbs up and the notification bell this would help me out a lot and you will not miss out on any more videos so let's take a look i think this is a pretty easy one honestly I think there are two decks that are way better than all the other decks and you can just see it if you look at how they are spread out here. We can see you can play stuff like Zodiac, obviously, Time Thief, it's an XYZ deck. Now you can play Kashtira, which is definitely not bad, a Galaxy a Photon deck, which has a lot of XYZ stuff, but then also a lot of random stuff. The Exorcist is definitely a no-brainer, but in my opinion, the best decks you can play uh, is for one uh, Labyrinth, um, because obviously they don't need their XYZ extra deck. What you see here is just an extra deck that um, is just yeah tossed in here the only card that really makes sense actually um, might be uh, a baguska because you can in theory make a baguska if you manage to get two level four bodies on the field uh, or for example an abyss dweller so that is not totally out of the picture out of the question the other card that is actually useful is the superstars their typhoon sky crisis i'm also a bit um, surprised that we have an xyz event because normally the event that we get uh, tends, tends to um, basically relate to one of the uh, new um, archetypes that has uh, been released in a new pack. So in this new pack we have Jubel, which doesn't really isn't really like XYZ or Fusion or Link. It's uh, most likely a Fusion because you have Phantom of Jubel and then Jubel the Loving Defender forever. Um, but I would have um, expected a Synchro event. Not quite sure if we had a Synchro event recently. That may be the case because the Synchro event could have meant that they could have pushed Centurion, which I don't think that a lot of people have gone for the cards because it is actually quite expensive and then again not really strong, so a bit sad. But you have the XYZ event, you have Labyrinth here, and this is the cool thing about Labyrinth, always has been the cool thing about Labyrinth, the fact that you don't really need the extra deck, obviously if you're playing this on the rank ladder, you definitely want to go for stuff like Chaos Angels because Chaos Angels make the deck better and stuff like Muckracker, but honestly you can uh, play a Labyrinth deck without any extra deck cards and still be able to go master one with it in my opinion not really that hard and you can see right here classic um, basically classic uh, cards in this deck you don't need to play a transaction rollback if you don't have it you don't uh, also need to play destructive the rumor karma cannon if you don't have it because this is definitely better against snake eyes which you won't see in this event but this will be very good against the second best deck in my opinion that you can play in this event because this is able to out the big boss monster of the the other deck other than that nothing too special here we are playing the furniture uh, the furniture version has definitely um yeah proved itself to be the better version everyone is playing the furniture version not the pure trap version where you would play more traps you would play a lot of the heavenly prison if you are not aware this is this guy here uh, which can basically protect all of your traps very nice but then again um, yeah, doesn't really or isn't really that important in a format where we are playing best of one because uh, people just don't have like feather dusters or lightning storms in their main deck because it doesn't really make any sense. So just go ahead, pick out one of these lists. There is a more crazy one playing Kashtira stuff, playing like Kurikara, which this actually makes sense. Kurikara uh, being in this deck to be used against uh, Pearly, which is the deck we are going to talk about uh, next year. So you can tag in Kurikaras if you have them. It is an ultra rare, but it's also a very useful card. So if you uh, for example want to play tournaments then having kurikaras that you can also side in because in tournaments you will be able to use the side deck this is not really bad so crafting this card is not the worst thing at all and we can once again see an xyz extra deck that is not really being used besides having like a uh, baguska maybe a uh, dugaris and cards like the um, evil swarm extinction knight and then obviously our superstar slayer typhon sky crisis once again we have the daruma karma cannon very good against pearly here and mm, nothing too special here 
here we can see um, there are some other variants that you can play here's also a 60 card grass variant which i would not suggest you playing i mean they have the paleozoic stuff in here but i think a pure labyrinth build is better than the paleozoic stuff you can also go ahead and play this guy the absolute king backjack it's definitely better in the paleozoic variant here we have another like normal one where they are playing the gamma here we can play maxi in this event very interesting skill drain definitely a useful card you should put in all of the floodgates that you can put in in my opinion because these just auto win games if you are going first and then we can see the deck lists basically match each other from here on so go ahead i think labyrinth is the deck that you can win this event uh, with uh, the fastest and the other really obvious one is pearly which doesn't really have any restrictions here you don't need any more extra deck monsters than just your um your XYZ monsters here. Um, there are obviously you would like to play a little knight here, but don't really need it because you can just go ahead and use the XYZs. There are definitely other options you can also use right here, where which uh, this guy has not in the extra deck. Let's see whether uh, one of the other guys has, but maybe these are also forbidden cards. And the um, uh, oh yeah, there it is. I would definitely suggest if you have it putting in the Liberalisk Ensemble Robin or the Sylvian Princess Bride because the thing is, um, these are cards that you can often make because on your end board you sometimes have extra cats that you still have on your end board and you don't need for anything and then you can use them to xyz into a sylvan princess sprite and maybe get another spell cut into your hand or to just make the levelisk ensemble robin to bounce something back normally you would use these extra bodies to make an sp little light so you have an additional interruption in this case though it's not really necessary you see we have a double zeus here in my opinion you don't need a double zeus in most decks but obviously because this is an xyz event you can just go ahead and put in your double zeus which you don't really need so don't you worry about crafting another Zeus for this event if you don't have another one you don't need another one once again playing the gamma here and obviously pearly is the strongest or the, the second strongest deck in my opinion that you can play right here just because that the engine here the pearly deck in itself i think is the strongest deck in this event that you can play but um, everyone is tacking against this you could see this in a labyrinth with the korikara and they also have the daruma karma cannon which the daruma karma cannon if you're not aware this is the card we just see uh, saw here where i was talking about the destructive daruma karma cannon is actually able to to get rid of ex pearly noir um, but uh, the thing is so the just to, to make this clear the rumor karma cannon says change as many monsters on the field as possible to face down defense position then if either player controls a face up monster they must send all face up monsters they control to the graveyard and obviously ex pearly noir says that if she has five or more materials she's unaffected by everything right so the thing is by activated effects that is the thing is that normally this would not work but it actually does work because the second clause here um, basically says that the player has to send uh, all face up monsters they control to the graveyard. So as long as we have changed one monster on the field to face down position, so they have to have the ex Pearly Noir and one other monster, as long as we have managed to change this one to face down defense position, then the second part of the effect applies. If either player controls a face up monster or monsters, so your opponent controls ex Pearly Noir, then they must send all face up monsters they control to the graveyard yet they referring to the player so this is not something that is happening on the field or in the game but the player has to do this which is the same as with evenly matched where also the player has to send something so this one is not unaffected because um, the card doesn't really affect this card the expert noir but affects the player which the expert noir is not uh, basically protected from so a very good card against pearly but once again you can just put in the kurikaras you can put in stuff like lava golems or kaijus if you are facing a lot of pearly opponents and then just get rid of the expert noir and kill them uh, by that way so i think this deck is very strong um, when it comes to the engine definitely the strongest one you can pick but then also very susceptible against being tacked against if a lot of people are playing pearly you can definitely Definitely expect a lot of people playing Kurikaras, playing uh, Kaijus, playing stuff like the Destructive Kuruma Karma Cannon, and then it will definitely become harder to get this uh, tactic through it. If you can't end on your Expel Nirua, then what are you ending on actually? And then we can see different builds here uh, where obviously you can decide uh, which spells you want to play for this specific event. You can also play, this is another card you can also play against Pearly. Uh, it's also only a rare XYZ Encore target one face up XYZ monster your opponent controls that has X XYZ material, detach all XYZ materials from it, and if you do return it to the extra deck, then if there is a monster card in the graveyard among those, special summon as many of those monsters. So this can also be used to get rid of an ex Pearly Noir. So yeah, there are a lot of different options that you can use. 
against Pearly, so this is why I think this is a bit susceptible to being tacked against, but definitely the second best deck that you can play in this event. So once again, to sum it up, go play Labyrinth if you want to finish the fastest, in my opinion, um, and then you can go ahead and play Pearly if you want and have it. Obviously, you can also go a bet. I think the, the next best one would be Exorcist, in my opinion, then I would say Kashira. And the other ones here are all a bit meme, <laughs> meme-ish, I would say you can play. This, I guess, is just a Fire King deck here. It's not, oh, is it a Snake as Fire King deck? Um, yeah, but this is this is like a meme because you definitely need your Link extra deck monsters in order to make this very successful. I mean, you can go ahead. The guy said just thought it would be funny to run a Snake as Fire King. Um, yeah, but uh, I mean, okay, it's not really something that you really want to take the ladder, but I would suggest go ahead, attack the Labyrinth deck, attack the Pearly deck, and if you don't have it, you can also go ahead and play Cash Hero, or if you have it, Exorcist are definitely also very important or very strong um, decks. We can quickly go check, and this is another interesting part, if Exorcist can play the shifter here is it in there it is in there that is always very very strong so go ahead and play this if you have it but other than that labyrinth and pearly are the best decks let me know in the comments what do you think what are you playing are you excited for this event or are you a bit dehyped what event would you have liked to see let me know in the comments and we will see each other in the next one